Well, lords and ladies, it's uh, time again. Wait, yeah, 4 a.m.? No? It's just time for me to post more annoying blah 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 so that you guys can eat it up and hit that subscribe button. Wait, no? That's not why I'm here. Maybe it is. Anyway, so to the point, some people have asked, hey, how do I grow on Koa? How do I get a billion power? Well, let's set some reasonable expectations and walk through different things that you can potentially do both on the pay side and the free side of how to grow. So on the free side, I'm gonna highlight my buddy who's got the most horrible, I, I don't know why the hell he picked this name, but whatever, we're gonna just call him out. Uh, let's see, where the hell is he? He's, he's around here somewhere. Oh, no, this guy. Where the hell is he? His name is Lord Balsack. It's the most horrible name in the whole, I don't even know why I let him in my alliance. But, you know, I mean, he's, a, he's an okay guy. He just likes to pick really, really bad names. Where the hell is he? Um, anyway, so he's a level 30 hiding somewhere. He's, he's probably, like, ran away. He knew I was going to make this video. Oh, there he is. All right. So, this dude is a perfect example of about as close as you can get to 100% free play and, and actually getting some decent level. So the first thing you'll notice, it is bubbled, all right? Just like rule number one, if you're not ready for war, bubble. Because you never know when someone's just gonna come by and just like, you know, swoop you up. Um, all right, so he's 77 million power. And the way that he got level 30, 77 million power, with spending a dollar. Okay, he's not totally free play. I, I think he spent a dollar in order to activate the the vault. But yeah, he's got like 20 farms. I can't even show you how many farms he's got because they're hidden everywhere. You know, I mean like, see this little guy over here? That's his farm. And they're like, they're hidden everywhere. So, you know, I mean, not only does he have farms, but they're like, they're, they're scattered all around. So like, even if you wanted to rob him, you'd, you'd take you like 20 minutes just to figure out where all the shit is. But the moral of the story is, lots of farms, number one. Number two, stay shielded. Because, I'm sorry guys, but free play, you're probably, you know, subject to getting blasted by other people. So, you know, enjoy your, your monster bash and, and the other different things that you can partake in. Yeah, but PvP, yep, you can just kind of forget that. So, free players, just, just kind of forget, you know, PvP. You know, don't, don't expect that you're going to be involved in big wars and doing you know, crazy things. So just, just leveling expectations. Um, yeah, but this guy is a perfect example. You know, he says he never spends money and I, and I tended to believe him. You know, I know him personally. He's a really nice guy and, and, and I think he's honest. So for free players, this is like the best thing you could do. But the only way to get here is having like, you know, 20 farms. So that's that. Um, the other thing that you can do is that when you go through these Merlin trials, Merlin trials actually give a lot of speed ups. So if you if you can actually, you know, try and get some of the higher levels on Merlin trials, free play or pay to win, whatever it is, they give a ton of speed ups. It's a one time deal, but it, it's very generous. So you you'll want to go in there and you want to try and complete some of those. Um, I think the the research day and some of the other days are are more specifically focused on um, on speed ups. So that's the other thing. Um, there's a few things that are, are relatively inexpensive and it can help you, you know, get power. So deals of the day, once a week, gives a lot of training boost. It's like 600 hours of training boost for like uh, $35-ish. It's by far the, the absolute best deal on training and speed up that you can possibly get. Um, so that's the second way. It, it equates out to, I mean, if you're, if you're you know, pushing T10s and you've got decent sized tents, it's about uh, 5 million power for about $35, give or take. So that's, that's another you know, quick tip and you can buy that about once a week. Not too expensive, you know, you know, per month, they'd give you like 20 million power. If you stay shielded after a year, you're looking at like 240 mil power, you know, avoiding conflict. 
you know, I mean, we're getting into a respectable range here where you might actually be able to take a hit from, you know, from somebody. You know, I'm just saying, long-term planning. Don't ask me, hey, how can I build power? And expect it to happen in like one day. We're talking about, you know, every day, you know, playing the game, every day, you know, investing the time, you know, playing smart for a year. That's how you do it. Uh, the other thing is, is you're going to get speed ups from barbarians. You're going to get, you know, uh, speed ups from collecting these, um, oh, what do they call these? The tributes. Um, you know, you can maybe get some speed ups over here in the marketplace, you know, but it all adds up, you know, and you just, you just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. You, you stay diligent, play the events, play Fallen Knights, um, you know, play the gold event, you know, it all adds up. And you just keep doing it for a year, okay? So um, if you really want to spend money and you want to speed up, uh, my best and only advice for you is either spend a lot or don't spend anything. So if you plan to spend a lot, make sure your tents are high. Like level 30, you know, 35 tents, do it. Uh, you can get tents. I think up to 25 with Inseal's orange equipment for basically free. So you just need construction speed up and it costs basically no resources. So I think 25 to 30 will st start costing resources. Uh, but you know, it, with Inseal's it's not too bad. Uh, the second thing is, is if you're really gonna try and boost power, you really need to get HelloS. You know, a five star HelloS is a 66% troop training speed. It's a must-have. Just, just don't play around with it. Just, just figure out how to do it and just do it. The second thing is, is fortune set. You know, you can probably get fortune set plus one, blah blah blah. Uh, but if you're going to be building a lot of troops, these things are just must-have. You know, don't, don't burst out. You know, a billion power, without having, you know, all of the things properly set up. You know, you really need to increase your training speed. There's research for it over here. Um, and the uh, the research, the development tree. Let's see, where is it? Training speed one, five percent. And then over here, uh, training speed two, twenty percent. You know, do these things. It's, it shouldn't be too hard. You know, you just level up your your you know your university, and you do it. If you're really planning to build power, these are the things that you need. So. I know I'm covering stuff that everybody knows, but sometimes you just got to say it. So free players, lots of farms, stay shielded, plan for a year, a year and a half. Uh, pay to win players, you know, in seal it says magic. Uh, make your tents higher, hell OS, fortune set. You know, this is, this is how you do it. Uh, I think above all of this, free play or pay to win. Uh, the most important thing though is learn to pick your battles okay don't do what your enemy wants do what's good strategy it doesn't matter what they say racist comments they hate you they're picking on your your little brother your favorite your allies whatever it is they're doing pick the right battle if you can't win don't fight because that's what they want you to do they want you to go in there in a losing battle and keep your power low forever and ever and ever they never expect you to shield for six months and slowly build your power. You know, ignoring all the drama and just build and build and build until a point when they can't handle you anymore because they're going to keep, you know, they're going to keep churning power with these little battles and these little conflicts. But every day you hoard your power. You don't lose it. You avoid these stupid conflicts until one year later you're at 240 mil power or 300 mil power. What can they do? You know, I mean, if they hit you, that's that's going to be, you know, two or three million troops are hitting. They will feel it. You'll be an SH-30 with T-10s and, and things like this. So play the long game. Don't play to your enemy's hand. You're in control. You dictate it. Good strategy. So, okay, lords and ladies, um, I hope you liked this video. And, um, yeah, feel free to subscribe or hit the like button. All right. Good night. Cheers. Bye-bye.